one of the basal ornithischian lineages were the heterodontosaurids, so called because they had different types of teeth, including canine-like tusks. Uh, Tianyulong is a late Jurassic heterodontosaurid known from China. Its length is estimated to have been under a meter in length, about 70 centimeters, but it is interesting in that it possessed a row of integumentary structures uh, from its head and shoulders down its back to part of its tail, and these were hollow and stiff and fairly long, about six centimeters. Kulinda dromius is a neo-ornithician. Uh, this is the group of ornithicians after the armored dinosaur lineage diverged from the others. Uh, this dinosaur is known from the Middle Jurassic from Russia. It measured uh, three to maybe five feet in length, and its skin was covered by three different types of integumentary structures resembling the protofeathers of theropods. Much of the body was covered by hair-like filaments. Uh, then on the arms and on the thighs, uh, there were structures uh, where multiple filaments originated from a common base. And then there were two centimeter longer filaments present on the lower legs. Psittacosaurus, which is a well-known dinosaur uh, early in the lineage, which would lead to the horned ceratopsians, uh, this bipedal animal could uh, reach over two meters in length, uh, is known to have had a row of hollow tubular bristles on a portion of its tail that could reach 16 centimeters in length. It has long been known that many pterosaurs have been found with thin fibers covering their bodies. Pterosaurs were one of the branches of the archosaur family tree most closely related to dinosaurs. It was once thought that feathers were uniquely a bird feature, meaning that they would have evolved these after they split from common ancestors like theropod dinosaurs. But after so many theropod dinosaurs have been discovered with uh, feathers or protofeathers, it was now thought that perhaps feathers originated early in the theropod lineage and that these evolved into the structure seen in theropod dinosaurs and birds. Given that now several ornithischian dinosaurs are known to have had as integumentary structures, it then might be possible that the first dinosaurs and potentially all dinosaurs would then possess uh, integumentary structures which were homologous to the proto feathers which birds would develop further. But if these are homologous to the fibers which cover the bodies in pterosaurs, perhaps the origin of these structures goes further back into uh, the group known as Ornithodira or Ave Metatarsalia, uh, signifying the reptiles uh, such as pterosaurs and dinosaurs, which have the same type of foot structure as birds. That's the meaning of the name.